Yeah, but, but one of my favorite moments was actually uh, he went up and he took the time out to go up and take a picture with my son who was sleeping in his stroller. Yes, yes. I, as I, as my wife had went up and told me she would was walking around uh, the convention and every time she passed by Patrick, he would say, "Oh, you know," kind of say, "Oh, he's still sleeping and everything." And yeah, she says, "Yeah." So I, I don't know. After a couple of times around, you know, she you know talked with him. Got an autograph, and you know he asked if he could take a picture, and and so he got you know he kind of crouched down next to the stroller, and my son was sleeping, and he went kind of shh. My wife took the picture. To me, this was I think one of, and this uh, automatically became one of my favorite uh, moments, and probably part of the reason why Patrick was my personal favorite guest that we had on the podcast because on a personal level. Uh, it, it kind of impacted me, and you know the fact that he would, you know, he would go off and would do something like that. Uh, you know, just uh, you know, it touched me uh, as a father. So I, I really appreciate that. Really, Jeffy, it touched you. I was trying to come up with, uh, you know, a good, you know, Jeff Dunham, you know. Come back, but Jeff Dunham doesn't have any good comebacks. That's what. No, a his... snappy comeback no, for you. No, no, you know, that's what his. Uh, that's, that's, what what his, his that's what his dolls are for. That's what his um, dolls are for. Yeah, so exactly. My favorite moment was, I, I don't even think technically the convention itself, but more or less how. Um, for us, it definitely started off very stressful because being our first convention, we weren't sure what to expect. Um, we we know what to expect now and. Uh, Chaos is on middle name, um, so I thought my middle name was Mast. My my, my middle name is Francis. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, but but uh, it, it became this huge family uh, event, and you know everywhere you looked, there were, there was families, and most conventions you'll see one or two people by themselves, and, and that and that's it. Like you know they'll be dressed in costume, but that's pretty much as far as it goes. With this convention, we we actually shared uh, one picture on there, and there was six people all from the same family dressed as Star Wars characters. Uh, so this was down to heart, you know, a family event, um, and there were so many different uh, different types of people, uh, and and from the community and all that. Our buddy Andy, who we mentioned, actually uh, showed up to the convention. He actually um, had a bag made uh, by one of the the, the vendors there, um, we, it, it, she actually made um, a bag, made, yeah. custom made a bag for him, and she actually lives with with MS. So it, it's amazing to see people who you know have these things go on in the real life and still take the time to show up and, and you know make this effort and, and be this extremely. Uh, approachable, friendly person, you know, for both days. And for us, I know it was difficult because by the end of Sunday, I was exhausted, and I know you were exhausted and um, and stressed because, it, yes, the convention went well, but there was so much things that we were not prepared for. Um, I think the biggest thing is we were not prepared for the clips to hang up the banner. <laughs> yeah, we, we I don't think we walked in there really having any idea exactly. I mean, we knew we had the banner, but it didn't occur to either of us that we might need something to hang it up with. Yeah, it never uh, occurred to me that, uh, you know, a banner should hang um, or be attached to anything. Yes. Uh, you're definitely not to my funnest moment. Um, but that is, that is okay. We will be a little bit more knowledgeable if you... Yes, yes, be. yes. Very, very knowledgeable. Very, um, very knowledgeable. And the accents start coming out. Um, and... I mean, come on, this is pretty much whatever happens but when we get it, on the air. Even for our team, it was definitely a, bi a big family uh, moment. Everybody was looking out for each other. Um, you and I were constantly running. Um, me more than you. I was, Because you can actually run. I can actually run. Um, so, <laughs> but it, it, it definitely, it was uh, very, very non-stressful, very relaxed. Um, yes, I think some of the volunteers looked a little more stressed than we did, but, uh, you know, considering they were running a whole convention, not a, you know, a not, table. Not a table, yeah. Uh, definitely we, makes more sense. We kind of got off easy in some ways. Oh, boy, sure. did we ever. Uh, I, I definitely, I, it, it's, it, it certainly seems 
so uh, coming out of that that uh, we went off and we impressed a bunch of people and a bunch of people really impressed us. I impressed myself. So, I mean, we look forward again to, to go off and to be attending uh, BandQuest again next year. We'll, we'll have a table there next year as well. So it's going to be a really uh, good time. And speaking of conventions, of course, we've touched a little bit on ICON. ACON. Uh, ICON. Which, ACON, which is coming up at the end of July. But at the end of August... There is going to be one, two, you guys want to announce it? So, we're going to Enercon and we will have a table there. Yes. There, you heard it. Um, so, end of August, uh, and uh, Enercon. Enercon, I believe. August, August 27th. 27th to 28th? Yes. Okay. Possibly, I think, the 26th as well. Um, my numbers are a little off. I think it is all three days, and I'm not sure. Um, it will be at Canadians Pull Park. Uh, we will be hosting a table there again. Yeah. We. It's gonna be actually pretty wicked uh, for both of us because that's a little, that's kind of like in our backyard, you know. So it's a lot closer for both of us. Makes it a little easier, and uh, we we do have some big plans um, for that uh, for that table that uh, we will reveal more as the uh, the time comes. Um, but it is, this is a Transformers based convention, yeah. <laughs> which of course is everybody's favorite. Um, but, and as someone who actually remembers uh, the Gen One cartoons when they originally came out uh, with great fondness, I absolutely can't wait. You know, for Pepperidge this. Farm remembers. Pepper, <laughs> yes, Pepperidge Farm remembers. Um, so <laughs> after Yo know, Fan Quest, we we literally thought that this was going to be it for the year. Um, after the, our. Our interview with uh, Rob and Will from uh, Entercon on Saturday morning. Um, I think the wheels started being put in motion at that point of the idea that maybe, you know, one is not, you know, enough. That maybe, may, maybe, just maybe, we can manage to squeeze in one more. Well, we were definitely, I think, when we came out of uh, Fan Quest, we pretty much said, okay, this is it. We were pretty waked up, but at Within a couple of days, you and I started messaging each other and thinking, you know, you know, is you know, should we do this? You know, you know, you know. I mean, they're offering us the opportunity to have our table at, at Entercon. Do we want to jump on this? Yeah. And I, and, you know, and I don't think it took either of us very long to go off and say. You know, let's go for it. I, I, I think, actually, before I started messaging you about the table, I already had my mind made <laughs> up. Um, so, in other words, even if I had said no, you would have went off and argued with me until I relented. Uh, that's quite possible. Um, FanQuest obviously was really good for us and, and, and all that. So, to me, it only seemed fitting that we continue the trend um, of the year and we move forward. And Entercon has that feel that fan quest does you know very down to earth very family friendly uh they're going to be doing script readings you know all these different things it's eight dollars for a day twelve dollars for a weekend so definitely fits in with our fan friendly uh atmosphere and so it was only it was kind of a no-brainer um th i think the biggest issue would be would we be able to handle another weekend um but I think being our second convention and, the, of course, the second in one year, um, we're going to have a little bit more grasp on what we're doing and definitely approach things a little differently. And I think that's what is going to make this even more exciting. Um, we did really good the first one. Yep. Um, you know, and I think the second one, we are going to blow things out of the, out, out of the water. There, it um, definitely is the potential... Uh I am. You know, I suspect that you know, uh, Entercon is going to be a, as gracious with us as FanQuest was. So we're hoping that we are able to uh, again go off and do interviews with uh, you know some of their guests as well as you know we'd love to go off and have uh, some of the cosplayers on as well. And who knows? Maybe we'll even you know do uh, something with uh, with our friends Nick and Kayla here uh, as well. Hi. And you'll do, Hi. Yeah, I, I know. I, I had to go off and say your name, Nick, because you were falling asleep. Yeah, I can see you're, you're kind of like dozing off there, so I needed 
figured it was either that or I go off and prod you and you know the side with my elbow and I figured that we, we, we definitely are a very uh, monotone show tonight uh, we but are there, there's so much planned for that weekend they're going to have uh, Q&A's they're going to have panels they're, they're going to have uh, so many different things I haven't even begun to look at uh, what they're doing they're having video game contests again uh, so definitely there's so much that you're going to be able to see on this weekend Canada, you know, Canada to pull apart. So, you know, TYC is attached to the building. There's so many different things in the neighborhood. Uh, it is the perfect area. And, of and, course, in our backyard. And absolutely. And it's a great uh, little neighborhood. I mean, again, it's kind of like in the center uh, of Winnipeg. So there is a really nice, uh, there's the Pole Park Mall, which is close by. There's a Walmart. There's some great uh, restaurants in that area. As well as, of course, being with the Canada Inn, and there's, I mean, which is a wonderful hotel, uh, and, you know, and, I mean, they have, if you go there, they got some great food there as well. So. Right, right, actually, I, I think I was wrong, it's not TYC anymore, it's the Tavern. Um, Tavern, Tavern yeah. United. The Tavern United, yes. Wow, I showed my age there when I remember TYC, uh, <laughs> the Tijuana Yacht Club. Which wow. Is, yeah, exactly. That shows my age. Um, I used to dance there back in the day. So, you know, as, as we both said, this is very fitting. Um, I think we're actually going to possibly end this show slightly sooner because this is Winnipeg and the mosquitoes are eating we, us. We are, we are literally being assaulted by the provincial bird of Manitoba, yes. otherwise known as the mosquito. So we will check out early so we can go in and have some cake. Yes, apparently there is cake. Uh, there is cake. And if Bubbles is listening, uh, Bubbles is going to get cake tonight. Um, not by me, Bubbles. I promise you, I will not have anything to yeah, do with that. Bubbles. We have it out for Bubbles. Uh, Bubbles, Bubbles actually got us with cake last year at our one year anniversary. So it's only fitting that Bubbles gets, you know, cake tonight. And I leave it up to Nick to do it. Um, <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm so, doing it. All right, guys. So thank you for listening in. Thank you for Nick cake Taylor fight. for joining us. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, I'm going to be Mealy Otis. From the seven deadly sins, and I guarantee I will be in all the competitions for the gaming. Yes, and I may even compete with you and lose. I may compete with you all and kick you all because I will put sleeping pills in your drinks so you all fall asleep <laughs> while we're gaming. Uh, <laughs> yes. So I fight. will be the Brock Lesnar of video game fights. Okay, bye. <laughs> all right. So thanks for listening in on bye. this special two-year bye. anniversary show. Uh, it's been great. Bye. And yes, we're going to go have some cake. But before we go, it's time for our shameless social media segment of the show. You can follow us on Twitter. You can follow me at Real C-A-P-T Fizz. So at Real Captain Fee- you can Fizz. Fo- Fizz. 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 You can follow this local fellow at That Mascot. Follow the show at Fizz Mask Show. Go check us out on Facebook. Just look up Captain Fizz and The Mask Guy Show. On there, you will find... A everything. Couple, you will find everything, including uh, some pictures which were just posted this evening of the cake, as well as, as posing. We will Kayla. do an after-the-fact picture of the cake, including Bubbles' face. Bubbles! Yeah, maybe not. And, of course, you can go check out our website, www.fizzmashow.com. Dot com. Yes, he's drugging us. Send help, please. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and I don't know. Uh, there, uh, there's tons of pictures, and uh, all, all, all the videos uh, from the interviews from FanQuest, as well as all the pictures. Uh, haven't quite got to putting them up on the uh, the website. It's been a exhausting week uh, recovering from fa- uh, FanQuest, um, but they have, are coming. We have personal lives, you know. We uh, we have stuff that you know, uh, you know, other than you know, FanQuest, which calls for us. To go off and to do and you know demands our attention so they will get this stuff will get done uh we are also you know again we are in the midst of trying to bring some people on for uh guests in the near future as well as uh, designing up some new merchandise which we will go off and you'll know, shamelessly plug all over the place once we are sure of everything Plus pictures of uh, Kayla's uh, Pikachu, as well as a bunch of other stuff. There's so much on the works right now. Um, it's like an artistic Pikachu. bomb. Send the uh, help to the heavens. 
So it is time for us to leave before these two take over the show on us. Or otherwise, it could turn into the Nick and Kayla podcast if we're not careful. So thank you for listening. You can't get rid of uh, Captain Fee.